Hey everybody, this video is intended as a tutorial to help out the community and show you some of the things that I've learned through the dynamics of the game. You can see that I'm gently moving the mouse back and forth so you can see the motion of the character. He's actually shifting his weight back and forth. If I hit the button when it's on that side versus when I move and then hit the button on the other side. And you can see that as you get going on this, you can make a full punch and if you move and as you move back hit the button it will throw the left punch so I'd put that in slow motion so you could more easily see but if you just stop on one side it doesn't really work you're still punching just straight you have to bring the momentum to a stop and then come back the other way when you hit the button I'm showing you this from the front angle right now so that you can see the hands and his motion. I like to do this from behind and you'll notice you don't really need a large motion, just kind of over each shoulder. I'll show you that in a moment. So I was doing it exaggeratedly slow, but you'll speed up when you're in combat you can see that going 90 degrees either way turns your entire character which makes it easier to do these moves but is not necessary now while the camera is still facing forward I'm going to use some of this dodging technique that I wanted to show you it is movement with just ducking you can see that he gets a lot of head motion so you can actually duck under the arms add that with some movement and now you've really got evasiveness you actually look like you're dodging And now I'm practicing uppercuts with dodging. You crouch and then double click and you'll get a good uppercut swing. So you have single click, double click, and crouch then double click. Now I'm going to step up to the training dummy and show you some of the targeting. Here I'm aiming, it seems to be dead center, but as you can see I hit off to the left now I'm to the right and if you split the difference just between I do get a direct hit but I'm not so much aiming where the dummy is I'm actually making an invisible line over my right shoulder and that way it goes straight between my shoulder and that point point. and now I'm gonna practice some left swings you'll see how much I have to move the mouse it's pretty consistent just over the left shoulder then hit the button as you're coming back to the right side this however is only true when the camera's behind you. As you can see, I've got him aiming straight at the dummy, but my target is about waist high. This is true for the other side as well. So it seems when you're 90 degrees to the camera, you have to adjust your target. This means you'll also have to make an adjustment for left swings. Now I'm above the dummy, 180 degrees away from the camera, and it makes even more of an effect. So you can see that I have to still aim over my right shoulder in order to connect. You can see an invisible line between my right shoulder, the target, and where the dummy is. Where I was missing, now I'm hitting. Here I'm practicing left swing again. You can see that you have to have a little more action from the mouse when using the left swing from 180 degrees away from the camera. I had failed to emphasize earlier that I still aim with the right shoulder when using a left attack.
Now let's see if we can put some of this into practice. You can see that I start out here with good aim. And a nice dodge there. But we all know it's hard to keep the camera angle the same, so we move to the side view and I start aiming for the midsection. I've started ducking with too much frequency and she starts using uppercuts. Here you see exactly how the duck then uppercut works. Here I get an excellent shot. I draw blood, I'm pretty sure that I get hard or red damage on him. You can see that along with my dodging I'm moving or else that uppercut would have hit. Also it's better to move side to side than to retreat because they'll chase you and hit you. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.